apologies for this very, very odd angle. <laughs> All right. Well, ugh. you know what? I'm just gonna. Mm, mm, there we go. We're just gonna work from this angle right now. All right. Hey there, guys. This is probably the start of a brand new video series on my channel about my ambassadorship with Bernina sewing machines. Uh, I am a Bernina ambassador. I announced that this a couple months ago, but by the time you're probably seeing this, it's probably maybe September of 2021. I'm not sure. But right now it's the end of July and my machine uh, that is on loan for Bernina is now here in Kentucky and ready to pick up. So we are gonna go get it and then pick it up and look at it, but I probably won't be able to unbox it till a little while later. Right now I'm in the midst of writing my book. So sewing has kind of taken a big a bit of a pause at the moment. So we are going to just go get the baby right now. Might unbox her a little bit later, but let's go check it out. I have, I believe this is a Bernina 780, 780, 780 or 780 QE. I'm not sure. I will confirm on that. So let's go get the baby. Okay, there she is. She's huge and heavy. But there she be, and it is a Bernina 570. Excuse me, I get the numbers mixed up sometimes. But we're gonna peek it in there. Oh, no, no. so exciting. Hope the door fits so <laughs> the door goes down. Well, we got her. We got the Bernina. It is a Bernina 570. My bad, not a 780. Nice numbers. I don't, I get them mixed up sometimes. But we got her. We're on our way home with her. Special thanks to Sewing and Back Authority and Louisville for handling her well. Um, I'm excited to open it, see what's inside, take a peek. Yeah. It was a bit hard to kind of find this place at first. Went to the wrong address first and I had to hoist her in the car. And she's a big boy, big girl. Let's go on home and unbox her in a bit. <laughs> we'll see. Hey everybody. Today's video is an obviously different angle because I'm sitting on the floor up here in my loft space with stuff on. You know what? Just don't even worry about the cleanliness. This is the first time I've recorded a video in like three months. So we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go for it. So this video is actually going to be on the unboxing of my Bernina machine that I get to use with my Bernina ambassadorship. Okay, so to start the video, um, sorry if there's so much noise in the background, I'll try to get out in post, but to start this video, this is an unboxing video for my Bernina Machine 57B570. I, to be transparent, I do, this machine is on loan to me for the next year and some months um, for me to use within all of my videos, social media posts, and everything that comes along with my ambassadorship. So, this is technically not my machine, this is an on loan machine. And it is a fancy pants machine that we are gonna learn all about today. So let's get to unboxing this because the last time I think you guys have seen me pick this up in the earlier part of the video, that was the first week of August and we are in the first week of September. So I have been dying to dive into this freaking machine. It's been taking me a while to have the time and the energy and everything mind space to really get into this. But we are here now and we are gonna do it. Let's go grab it. <laughs> Here she is. Fragile, that must be Italian. For those of you who get that joke. This is a Bernina B570. So it is in their five series of machines. So it's a computerized boy with a lot of stuff within the machine. Um, what I am learning so far it is a great like this is a good machine if you are ready to like step up your skill level I wouldn't suggest this as a hundred percent first machine for anybody especially in cosplay but if you are like sewing is my jam I want to really like kick it into high gear with a bunch of my costumes and I just want a machine that can do it all let me show you the Bernina 570 okay so it's very similar to the one that I have, which is a B380, which is no longer in production. Um, they have a three series, but the specific one that I have is no longer in production. So 
if you would like to know about that, we can talk about that later. But I'm here to promote the 5 Series. So with all 5 Series, they come with a plate for the machine, a freehand um, presser foot lifter. What is this? It's called something specifically. I'm so sorry, but this is awesome. Awesome thing to have. It basically, you, it sticks in your machine and you can use your knee to lift the presser foot. It's, a, it's called a freehand presser foot lifter something. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know what part that is yet. <laughs> okay. All kinds of stuff. This is a bunch of things. Oh good, it came with multiple bobbins. So it's just like machine oil, bobbins, like a pack of stuff, you know. We'll get into that when we get it all set up. Oh, it came with a stitch regulator. I didn't know that. Oh, I'll explain this later. This is like a really cool thing for anybody who's really into freehand, uh, freehand, or excuse me, free motion embroidery. We'll show, we'll, we'll get to that, promise. Oh, and some thread from Mettler. My favorite colors, red, white, and black. Like they knew me, <laughs> you know. Power cord, need that. Oh, a whole bunch of feet. Oh yes, we're gonna get in, we are gonna get into this. And the exciting part about it is that there is a, it's a dual, there's some feet in here that are for um, a, a uh, uh, thing on the machine, it's called dual feed. Um, we'll go over that in a bit, but it does require certain Bernina feet. And if anyone's familiar with Bernina, um, you know that they have specific feet. Um, they're not necessarily a universal foot, but we will learn about that in a bit. I don't know what this is. Oh, it just feels so good to be back recording. I've missed you all. <laughs> oh, if you want to know what's been going on in my life for the past three months, I will have a separate video that'll be in this link somewhere, maybe a card up here. That has explained what I've been doing. And trust me, it's been a lot. Needles! A cover, a cover for the machine. My other one has that. Oh my god, she's beautiful. She's so pretty. Let's bring the camera in here. If you can. Okay. You can only do so much. <laughs> is Brunhilda. So drop in the comments below your name. You think you should go with my new machine? Preferably a name that's a lady and starts with the letter B. And she is Swiss. You wanted to know that. Oh, look at this. Baby. Oh my gosh. That's a foot. Look at her. Oh, she's so fancy. She's big too. Look at this. Oh my God. She's a beaut. Ah! Probably not the best place to have this. B570 Quilters Edition. Too bad we're not gonna be doing a lot of quilting on this thing. So we're gonna be details for costumes. Wow, she is gorgeous. All right, let's go set her up. Okay, so here is the size difference. So this is my 380. And that's the 570. I would say at least it is definitely, they're definitely, you know, bigger, young, bigger, smaller sisters. <laughs> okay, so here's the baby. <laughs> baby. All right, so let's get her more into frame here uh, as much as I can with the tripod situation I have right now. Okay, cool. All right, so, wow. 
delicious, delicious. So like I said, this is the B570. We are going to oh so satisfyingly peel this off. I can't wait to tell you all about the dual feet. I just, you can't really tell what I'm doing right now, but it's its satisfying, especially for people who work with really difficult fabrics. Wanda, staring at you. We'll go over that. But I need the, I need the leg. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but we're going to just go over all of the cool parts here that, that I know of right now. Uh, but I do want to show you all one thing about this machine that I think is really cool, and it is the Jumbo Bobbin. So I think in their most recent machines, Bernina now has bigger bobbins. And for y'all know the feels of running low on a bobbin, getting, you know, so close and then all of a sudden you're rolling. Look how cute, look at this little bobbin case. It's really cute. They are plastic, but look at these. So they're huge compared to their old ones, <laughs> right? Big boys. Now I know most of you are asking me, asking yourselves this question or wanting to ask me in the comments below how much this thing is. And at the end of the video, we will go over MSRP, I promise. Let's turn her on. We are cooking. Wow, look at the oh, how bright it is down here. This is fantastic. I hate sewing in the dark. All right, let's go. Let's get in through some of these things because I know there is a stylus around here somewhere um, that we can play with. What is the, but I think this is the oh, this is the feet closet. <laughs> okay, you look at this. So this is a closet for all the different feet that I have. How adorable. Does this not give you Barbie vibes? Like, did you guys have back in the 90s? I did. Barbie's own closet with tiny hangers and the shoes that you could put. Um, you, basically all of her accessories in like our own separate closet. Please let me know in the comments below if you did because, oh my God, I am having a nostalgic moment trip right now that is so Oh, real! Uh oh, did I spray? This? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, there it goes. Okay, so this is a closet for all the feet. We'll play with that in a second. I'm just gonna call it Barbie's Dream House. I'm so pumped about this. Look at how freaking cute this is. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, stop freaking out. Stop freaking out! Here it is. Look at that Bernina stylus. This is, instead of me using my crummy hands, this is a stylus using machine. So, as far as I can remember, let's zoom in here. As far as I can remember, playing um, and learning about this machine so far is that it's got a poo ton of stitch available, stitch stitches available right here. And lots of fun embroidery type stitches. Is it a glue box? Oh my God, look, can you, oh, there's a, oh, a turtle. I 
I've got ideas of bicycle. And these are like within stitches. So like this machine can do that. Um, I know I can write long words. Um, so this is gonna be really exciting for when people, when we get back into making costumes and um, Kofi donators, if you guys donate anything to my costume, I can actually, with my machine, instead of using like an embroidery machine, I can write your name into my costume this way, which is gonna look so much better than how I've been doing it. <laughs> Yay! It's buttonhole options, lots of different types of those. I don't know what this is yet. Okay, oh no, these are just like wide stitches. I think this is just like patchwork type stitches that you'll need a certain foot. I think, wow, look at all those. These are really neat. And this is a favorite, so I can favorite some stitches that I like and keep them in that bucket. So here's that, that's that. And so here is, this is what I do. Pick them in the, I don't know. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is, this style over here is stitch width. You can go up pretty, and it also it previews the stitch, which I love over here, which is so freaking cool. So it can go pretty wide. And I believe this is, yes, this is um, stitch length. So I can play with those buttons right here on that. Get crazy. Get crazy. And I think I can reset it. I gotta figure out how to reset this. This is a little, I mean, obviously this is the first time you're working on this machine. So, I don't know what that button does. It activates this little thing, I don't know yet, okay. Um, this is choosing the different types of feet we have. So if I am especially going to be playing with the dual feed, which is something I'll probably, we'll talk about in a second. Um, it will definitely, I can put in here the different types of feet. So the dual, I guess we can just go ahead and talk about that. So here's one foot and ankle, and then there's this little for light reflecting thing at the top. So what this does is it is a part of the dual feed system, which if you guys have watched me for a while, you know that I love my walking foot. This is a great, a great foot for working on any bulky or sticky or just pain in the ass fabrics. This is a great foot to have on your machine. And what it does is that it grabs the fabric and kind of pulls it through instead of just relying on the feed dogs to pull the fabric underneath the underneath the foot. So it literally, it's like, it like munches it. It's like nom, 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 nom. So what, instead of this, I now have the option of a dual feed, which is exactly what that is, except down here. So let's go down here. Aha. So this is an activate the dual feed. I guess I no longer have a, a presser. This is gonna be very interesting for me to, oh, it's a button. Oh, okay. Most people have a lever back here for that. There is no anymore. It is now a button. And then obviously the, the, the knee lift. So if you can kind of see, see this little guy back here? He's kind of like an extra arm that's gonna help me feed fabric through. It's called a dual feed. So instead of relying on a big chunky walking foot, we can activate this guy and he can help pull fabric through the machine and it is already in the machine. That is exciting. I am going to play with it a lot more later so we'll, we'll, we'll learn more about it, but that's just kind of what it is right now. So let's get back to figuring other things out. Let's get back to the screen. So this is all the different foot options that I believe you can do. So this is what we have in right now. So what happens if I push two? So two, I have to put the two foot in. Two A, and that will give me other options for things. I don't know what that is yet. Let me get the manual. <laughs> oh my Lord, this manual. Look at this, you guys. It is a big book. It's like a textbook. Precious CD-ROMs that I don't think I'll be able to use. Embroidery data. DVD. Mm, I don't think I could use that. <laughs> Embroidery software. I think 
Okay, yes. So if any one of you guys are interested in embroidery, I'm not the person to talk to, but Bernita does have software that comes with your machine when you buy an embroidery machine. So you don't have to buy it separately, actually. It's called Toolbox. We can talk about that another time if you guys are interested. More in tea. Bernina accessories. Look at that chonker. And the book. And I appreciate the spiral bound. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Okay. Wow, this is a lot to. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Dear Lord. What am I getting myself into? Okay. Uh, let's figure out something. Oh, look at that accessory box. It's so cute. Okay, good. So I got pattern. Like, what's, what's, what are things here? Okay, so let's let's go over this guys right here. These little buttons down here. So we got this button means that's the start stop. Okay, so if I'm doing something, I guess I can be take away the foot process. Start stop. We got a thread cutter. Yeah, hell yeah. That's nice. So I don't have to do it myself. <laughs> Press your foot up and down. That is the um, you know. You know, go backwards. Quit <laughs> the reverse. Quick reverse. Okay. Up here we got what is this button? Needle up and down. Yes. And then this guy is a pattern end. I don't know what that is. And of course he's the knob to I talked about that. And this is to move your needle up and right. What else we got? Okay, so that's, so down here is a connection. So if I wanna make this an embroidery machine, I can. It's an embroidery module that you can add onto this machine. That's hella cool. Okay. Okay. Wait, is that what that is? No. No, that's okay, we're gonna have that. Um, bobbin cover, yeah. Uh, the, uh, okay, so compressor foot, sewing light, thread cutter, speed control. That is this guy. So I can, if I want to cook, I can cook. If I don't want to cook, I can slow it down, but still put the same amount of pressure on the on the foot, on the um, gas pedal. <laughs> Woo! Thread, thread lever up here. Da, da, da. Thread cutter on the side. What's the fixing screw? Oh, it's this guy, okay. Connection slide on, freehand system. Oh, this is called the freehand system, the little guy down here for you move your foot or your knee okay. um pretty obvious back here yes the number four that's the dual feed this is what it looks like in the back that's the dual feed that i was talking about with the arm that comes down and helps you bring your fabric through can't wait to use that okay so also this is a fun thing so i said i was going to talk about it Okay, yeah, here it is. So this is the Bernina stitch regulator. What this does is it is a certain type of foot that you put on, or it's not necessarily, oh, it is a foot, yeah. So when you are doing free motion embroidery, which is, a lot of quilters do it. It's basically you, you drop the feed dogs in your machine and you're allowed to move the machine like this, kind of like all over the place and draw with thread. Um, one of the big problems with that is if you don't have a regulator, your stitches will become really long. They'll become very irregular when you're moving your, your fabric around like this. And so it might not look like the way you want because you're moving yourself around too fast and the machine can't catch up. So what this regulator is, is that I can plug this in and then basically I can tell my machine is like, all right, we're gonna kick it into turbo mode here. And so it's gonna keep up with how fast I move the fabric around. And so the stitches will be exactly like I want them to be, whether it's like a two, three, four um, stitch length, instead of like hopping around what would happen on normal um, free motion foot. So that is really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna use this a whole lot, but I am going to damn try, cause it is neat. But that's in short what a, a stitch regulator is. a very weirdly hefty book. I don't know. Oh, because it's a lot of them in different languages. Okay, so that's that. Let's go through the feet. I'm, 
going to get my little, my little book of feet. One moment. It's so one of my favorite things I got at the Bernina trip is this little book of feet. And it's just a little easy, easy book to go through and see what all the feet are that are possible with things. Because I don't know what half this stuff is. Half the time. So, this I do know what this guy is. Buttonhole foot! Yay! Ooh. This foot that's on the machine right now is 1C. And specifically, that is probably the one I'm going to be using the most. I think it's technically called a yeah reverse pattern foot. It looks like a zigzag foot. <laughs> Except it just has a little more fancy things. It's, it's used for straight stitching, decorative, zigzag. It's one I'm going to be using the most. And then the one I have specifically works with the dual feed system. So if you have a machine that has the system, you have to have the feet to go with the system. If you want to use a dual feed, which you don't have to do all the time. Okay, we got 97. I feel like this is like <laughs> calling up prices right, people. 97, come on down. You're the next contestant in my Bernina workbook. It's not even in here. <laughs> Stops at 95. Wait, or did I? I feel like I might have seen it. What is this? What are you? Ah. Oh, there we go. It's a patchwork foot. Boop. Patchwork foot designed for piecing patchworks for perfect patchwork things. Um, will I use it? I don't know. The cool thing, it, it's it's like off center a little bit, so you can probably use this aligning for, for different things if I'm doing top stitch stuff, so we'll, we'll have to check that out. All right, this guy is 20C. Open embroidery foot. Bing, diddle, ding, and dual feed possible. Just a wide guy. If I want to do like gigantic satin stitches, I can do that with this guy. 1D. I think we're back to another reverse pattern foot. What makes you different from this one? I don't know. Okay, 1D works with nine millimeter machines and dual, C, dual feet. Okay, so 1C doesn't work dual feet. I don't know. I think, yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, so here we go. Dual feed has to have this gap here because that's where the arm is coming in and grabbing the fabric through this little groove. Okay, so this is dual feed. 1C is not dual feed. We're learning, aha, see right here. See the open gap here? Mm -hmm. So this is 4D zipper foot, hallelujah. We are gonna become besties. Next guy, and the last one in my little collection, I, he's loose down here, I don't know why he's loose. Let's get that, there we go. 2A, overlock foot. Ooh, overlock foot. Well, I have a, I have a serger, so I'll probably be doing surgery on that. But an overlock foot, designed to be used with stitches for overlock or overcast edge of fabric. So this will be fun. I probably won't use this one as much because since I have a serger, but handy nonetheless. So I bought myself a foot while I was up at. Oh, it's over here. While I was up at Bernina. And this foot is gonna help us out so much on stuff we're making and doing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rollerball foot. Looky dee. So do you see the difference in like, yeah, he's, he's basically got skates. He's my skater, my skater guy. So this is really handy for vinyls, leather, Stupid, stupid, finicky fabrics that will stick to stuff. Um, it's a very good uh, foot to have if you are doing um, anything that requires a non-stick. Uh, the non-stick foots I have, love them. They're great for like sticky fabrics. Um, but specifically, the roller foot is designed for fabrics that don't feed well. Um, under it. So leather, plastics, vinyls, textured surfaces. That is literally all we work with here in the shop of Amanda. I'm so excited to finally have a, an official roller foot. And he's just so cute. It's like a matchbox car. Okay, let's put him in their freaking closet. Let's have some cute time. Let's open up the closet space and see what we got. Okay, I think they just kind of hang in here. Oh, 
Oh, this is so fun. I feel like I am playing dress up with Barbie. <laughs> what? What's up there? I think those are just feet, but these are like feet and ankles. Let's do a feet down here. Where does big guy go here? Does he go here? Where does he go? We'll find a spot for him. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here, here we go. Right, so, fun hole football if it's here. There we go. Get in there. Okay. Oh, and these are for, oh, these are for the bo bobbins. Oh my God. Oh, I can't get over at this. <laughs> I love it when things fit in. Oh, when the. Mm. I'm sorry, all the weird sounds you guys are getting. Because <laughs> oh, I didn't put that in right. Oh, shit. Nope. Come on. No. This guy. Oh, shit. Broke it. if I need like extra room, more space. He fits in here. I'm just having a blasty blast of all of this. This is fun. So I can put all the other accessories that came with everything. So this is obvious machine oil that we're gonna keep in there, definitely. These are multiple little foam pads. There. Actually, we'll be using those. I'll set that up. Okay. Here's this. So we got, well, you know, screwdriver, seam gauge, you know, foam brush cleaner. That's a seam. That's a. Sir, what is those called? Seam rippers, mother. Ah! Okay. And these all can go in there. And this guy, I'm going to try to figure out how I can attach him to the machine. Because I'm going to need this Okay! Whew. I think... Oh, and it attaches to the back? What? Oh, I see. So the accessory box for travel, I guess. Obviously, I need to open for dessert to work on it. There's that. Okay. Before we close this awesome unboxing, rambling, gushing video, We are going to try to figure out how to get the bobbin out of, <laughs> out of down here. I don't really know how to do it. Look at the spool holder, guys. Ho <laughs> ho That's actually kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to be using this much. I might. I use cones for my sewing, so I got big guys. But still, that's fun. <laughs> So one thing, uh, instead of showing you my ugly foot and the, you know, gas pedal, one thing I like about this machine is that I can raise the needle by using the foot control. That's gonna take a while to get used to, but I can do it and I'm very excited. It's called a back kick function. You can like basically push, put your heel down on, on the pedal and it will lift the needle. So that's gonna be, Something I gotta learn, but I'm very excited about. Pretty cool. I don't think I'll, I'm gonna have to get used to this. But this machine is so it's so computerized. I'm so used to mechanized machines of me lifting and pulling levers and presses and stuff. Bing. I love plates on machines. Love it. And then you can see down into the. I mean, my other one had that, but still. Okay, so I figured out the bobbin case, guys. 
So it doesn't have like the little pull lever that normally you have in machines, bobbin cases. This time it's a push button, button. like this little guy you push and pull him out. And okay, so he feeds in a little differently, but maybe that's gonna prevent a lot of bobbin puke since it kind of goes up through these little eyes and is able to get in. But you just press this little metal bar here and that pops them in and out, so. Should go then and clicks like normal. And then able to feed down into that and get the thread. Okay, this is really cool. So on this machine, it will indicate and tell me when the thread is low. A little animation will pop up and say, the thread's running out. And I can change it from then instead of having to freaking guess when it runs out. Okay, ladies and gents, we are almost done, I promise. This is one thing I want to do that I just found is really neat. And then we will do a little sewing example and then we will end this very long rambly unboxing video. So the first thing I want to do is here is change some personal settings. So let's go home here, touch the home icon, touch the setup program icon, touch the own settings icon, which is the person. And then I can choose certain looks. And we're going red because you know why? We're working on Wanda. Ooh, that's kind of hexy. Love it. And so I'm gonna try to change the colors of stuff when we are working on certain types of cosplays because I am that person. We are cooking with baking grease here, guys. This thing is so smooth. I love being able to hit the back part of my pedal and drop the needle and then just use my knee to lift the foot and bring it back down. I literally don't have to move my hands. This is so nice. Okay, let's 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 give it a zigzag here. Hiya! Tension's a little high on that one. Wait, did I? Okay, no, I did that. I don't know what that button means. It means stop. Let's go back to this. <laughs> That's, that's a, I don't know what that is yet. We're gonna figure that out for the zigzag because it's a little pulled under under this. Yeah, I'll figure that out. Make it the stitch a little longer. Go to four. here. Promise, we're almost gonna be done. <laughs> Unless you guys are really enjoying this. If you're really enjoying this, then welcome to the party. I found out this is, these are quilting stitches, so specifically for quilting. Um, let's do, let's, let's, hey, let's do some flowers. Uh, how about the maple leaf? The animation's even following it. Oh, that's great. With this guy, we can shuck him up a little bit. This is some thinner fabric that I'm working with, too. If I'm going to be doing some kind of embroidery stitch like this, I'm going to have it interfaced and be a little more stable on the back. How fun. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. They look like birds <laughs> more than maple leaves. Still though, really cute. That's fun. I'm gonna have a blast with this machine. I'm so thankful for Bernina choosing me to be a part of their ambassadorship this part, this this season. This is so cool. Let's lift that guy. Let's pull him out. 
and let's cut some threads. Oh, stop it. That was too simple. That was too simple. I had to show you all this. I just realized, because I was trying to figure out where to put my my stylist and it's got this little spot right here and it's magnetic. It's magnetic. <laughs> That's so cool. Also, I want to show you one more thing. All right, so I'm over here trying to figure out what everything is again. And I forgot that Bernie, I think, I think all of their computerized machines, which is maybe the five series and up, I think, I'm not sure on that, um, have this little help button that is really handy. So I'm over here trying to figure out what this top guy is here and this top guy is here. So I just push this little um, question mark and it goes into like activation question mode and like what stuff is. So I can just kind of go over here and click, what's that? That's the upper thread tension area. So I can fiddle with that. And I was like, what? That's cool. And so I try it again. I'm like, well, what's that? That's the pressure foot pressure area. So I can figure out how much pressure to be putting on my fabric when I put it through my machine. So if I'm working on stuff that's really bulky, I can lessen the pressure foot on that, which is so cool. And so I was like, give me more. What's over here? Stitch plate needle selection. So I can change out my stitch plates and obviously check in which needle that I need for whatever, whatever. That's just so cool. I forgot to tell you all that. Okay, I'm officially done with this <laughs> unboxing video. Adios. Thank you guys so much for following me on this very rambly unboxing Bernina video. Um, I will be having a lot of Bernina type content coming out for the rest of this year and the majority of next year. Um, so we will have a lot of time with this machine. I need names, so you guys need to put some names below on um, how we're gonna name this girl. We gotta name her, so it starts with the letter B and it has to be a lady, so all my machines are ladies. So thank you guys for joining me on this Bernita um, unboxing video. If you guys are really interested in owning your own Bernita machine, please DM me on Instagram and we can chat. I have a lot of knowledge and then we can also figure out how to find yourself one and see which one will work for yourself if you are interested in upgrading your sewing machine. There are Bernia and Burnett, which is another one of their brands, um, a very wide variety of price ranges. And I don't wanna be too, uh, you know, like every machine is like, thousands and thousands of dollars, but I will put somewhere in this video how much this one is. I don't know off the top of my head right now. So there's a number floating around here somewhere of how much MSRP this one is. So these are investments. These are very heavy duty machines. They are very computerized. They do a lot. I, if you really are truly passionate about sewing like I am, these are the best vehicle for you to have. And I'm not just saying that because I am an ambassador. I actually, started learning how to sew on Bernitas in costume shops. And that's where I fell in love with the brand and decided to apply to their ambassadorship and become an ambassador for them for this year and next. So that is the touch point on the Bernina 570QE. Yeah, quilters edition, yes. Um, so if you have any questions, please drop down below. Yes, please tell me your names for the machine. And the next Bernina type video, I don't know what it will be, but it will be something. And if you haven't viewed my uh, trip to Bernina's headquarters and that fun vlog that I have, please go view that. It'll be somewhere in the description below. So until next time, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. We do blah, tons, tons, really, cosplay content <laughs> right now i'm getting back into the swing of things after a break uh so i'm excited to get back so please like and subscribe to my channel share this video around and i will see you all next time bye